Good day, it is Stephen Davids here. In this video, I want to show you how to work with uh, headings and change headings, especially when you work with longer types of documents, such as projects, reports, theses. In my case, I work with a longer type of document for sermons, and uh, that specific document you uh, want to divide in certain sections and part chapters or whatever. This video assumes that you know how to work with the basic functions of headings and just how to add it and maybe uh, basically change the format. I do have two sonnets of the late and great uh, William Shakespeare, which I uh, cut in smaller pieces and condensed here for the sake of clarity and illustration. But these sections will, of course, be in a bigger document looks differently, maybe be each on a different page or after a few pages. So let us continue. Here is section, the first heading, and then the second main heading, and then there are four levels of subheadings. The second level is here, and um, then also the third level, and down under here I put in a fourth level, just for illustra illustration purposes. Down here I have a second sonnet. Basically divided on the same basis is to show you that in a longer document, the changes that you make in one heading will affect the other elements. So suppose you want to have here chapter instead of number one. Uh, then go to there are two ways how you can approach this. You can say format, bullets and heading. And then you go to customize. I already uh, have the tab here open customize. Another way is you can put your cursor on the heading and then right click it and then in the right click you will see list and on the list bullets and numbering and bullets and numbering will bring you out at the same thing. You go to the customize tab and in the customize tab suppose you want to put the uh, in front uh, like chapter one uh, go here to the numbering separator. And before that, you just put in chapter and make a space. Otherwise, as you can see here, uh, it is directly onto the number. Just make a space there and then you press OK. And you will see the heading itself. It changed to chapter while the numbering, the number one remains there. But suppose now you want to have the chapter in a different format. You want maybe to numeric, maybe Roman 1 or 2. Follow the same principles. Go to format, bullets and numbering, customize, uh, level 1. And in level 1 you change, for example, we want here Roman uppercase 1. There we have it. And you will also see then that the that was one year changed to the Roman one. But we will address that soon. Don't worry about that. So here's chapter one, here's chapter two. You can clearly see. Now in the big document, you want to write the uh, second heading, maybe as section, subsection, or whatever you want to do. Just follow the same principle. Let us right click, go then to list, bullets and numbering, customize, and this number one, this is a heading two, was there, it was on heading two. You can click here, any other heading you want to, you want to change it, but let's work with heading two. And you put then here on heading two, you put maybe, uh, chapter section and then also the space that you put in there and uh, there you will have a section okay and the sections so suppose you want the sections to be a and not one let us go and change it again uh paragraph sorry go to list bullets and numbering and there you have the a uh, let's go with the um capital a Okay, so there you change then your chapter and your sections. But now you will see um, 
things doesn't really look uh, well aesthetically. For example, uh, you, you, you just don't get things like that uh, Roman numerical 1, then capital B1. You want to get rid of these uh, extra things in your sections, in your um, uh, subheadings. What you do then is then go to, for example, go to um, section 2, to go again, bullet numbering section. You start at section 2, go to section 2, then you go here to sublevels. Sublevels, you bring it down, it stands at this moment 2, but just make it then, you see to 1, and you will see the section there, it disappeared. As you show you there, you put it to 1, and then it disappeared for that heading. Okay? And everywhere you just see section 1A, section B. So this is much better now. It looks aesthetically better. Now, what do you do about these other headings here? For example, heading 3. And in this case, I also have a heading 4. You do the same thing. If you want to get rid of these uh, preceding Roman num numeral 1 and the alphabetical A capital letter, go on, click on the... Uh, the um, Heading or alternatively, format, bullets and numbering, go to the customize tab and then you can choose any uh, level here or that you want to edit. In this case, you want to edit level 3 and in level 3, you just go to numbering show sublevels. In the heading 3, you don't want to show all three sublevels. You don't want to sh even show two sublevels. You want to get rid of that. A, and there you have it. This is only affecting the specific level, level 3. Okay, and there you have it. So it looks already aesthetically much better. But in this case, here's another level down under, uh, the fourth heading level, and uh, you've also, in this case, let us uh, leave it as head, Heading 2, 1, so then go, and this is um, heading, at this moment it is heading 4, on heading number 4, so um, let's do it uh, the alternative way, right click, go to uh, list, bullets and numbering, go to the tab customize, we want to customize level 4, level 4, we just want to get rid of these previous two uh, num number indications. So let us then just bring it down, get rid of the first one, and get rid of the second one. Okay, and there you have it. And of course, since it's a heading that you changed, it will affect automatically throughout the document all the other things that you have done. And you, so you can continue with the sub-levels no matter what you want to do. Thank you very much for watching this video. We love constructive comments and criticism. Please like and share this video and please subscribe.